looking nice and toasty. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! There's our, there's our first hog nose of the day. Yes! Right as Angel was saying, uh, it's getting toasty. I was just... And uh, <laughs> as you can see, what he's doing right now is his... Uh, Take to the wild today. Uh, we're here with Kevin and Haley, and uh, their locals here in Colorado. And so today we're looking for bull snakes, hognose snakes, milk snakes, anything we can turn up. Maybe some rattlesnakes. And as you can see, we got some really beautiful country back here. So we got a good crew today, and uh, hopefully we'll find some uh, some awesome critters. Share with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just uh, flipping boards right now. So the snakes like to come up and get get warm underneath um, all the debris here. And that's a good way to find snakes. What'd you find? What? It's not running, so. Oh, wow. Really pretty. Six lane race runner. Oh, yeah. Cool. What is it? A race runner. Wow, that's really pretty. One. Yeah. Show me. Oh, wow. Wow, that's really pretty. Yeah. They Beautiful. Get when they get bigger, too. And it's called a race runner? Yeah. Wow, that's a really pretty lizard. <laughs> so we got a box turtle here. What? Yes. Or <laughs> western. Can't believe we all missed it. <laughs> That's a pretty one. It's very dark. So we got a little box turtle. <laughs> Everyone loves turtles. He's really pretty. Where's yeah. the plants? The plants, the insects, they're pretty opportunistic. Yeah, so opportunistic. Um, and he's peeing. That's their defense. Defense tactic is to pee on you. And uh, you know anything that gets peed on probably doesn't want to eat. Was peeing on them, and uh, definitely works. You know, what makes color ice is it? Yeah. Brown or red? Brown, brown eyes. Girl, girl. Why? Oh really? So they have yeah. eyes or red? Red. And if you look at their back oh. legs too, they'll be like red if it's. Okay. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Dude, yes! Yes! Alright! There's, there's our first hog nose of the day. Yes! Right as Angel was saying, uh, it's getting toasty. I was just... And uh, <laughs> as you can see, what he's doing right now is his... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got a hog nose. <laughs> All right, well this is the uh, this is the Western hog nose, and um, super cool snake. A lot of cool things about them. Um, this is definitely an adult. They don't get super big. Um, they got that shovel nosed uh, snout. Now some dig. They're big burrowers. Spend a lot of time underground. And um, what they're looking for are toads. It's their favorite food. Toads and frogs. And uh, they have some enlarged teeth in the back of their mouth. Um, with grooves that will uh, inject kind of like a toxic saliva, not quite venom, but um, it helps subdue those toads. And those big rear teeth actually help pop the toads too, because when toads get grabbed, they're defensive. The defense is to blow up, blow themselves up, get really big and uh, hard to swallow. But these uh, hognose snakes use that big tooth to pop those toads, so they can get them down and eat them. And uh, they're pretty harmless. They do put on quite a show sometimes. Um, you know, when they get defensive, they spread that, that neck out, try to look bigger than, than they really are. They try to kind of look like a cobra, similar defense mechanism, and uh, they'll hiss. And then if that doesn't work, oftentimes they'll just flip over and they'll play dead. And they'll, um, they'll stick their tongue out, they'll emit a really foul-smelling liquid, and um, they'll look like there's something that's just dead and, and not desirable to eat. And it works pretty well with uh, a lot of things I want to eat them. So we got some photos of them that we can post on um, social media, as, like, as we like to do, to uh, inspire people about nature and uh, the cool things in our world that go pretty much unnoticed all the time. 
Uh, but after we're done with our photos and our videos, we always let them go right where we found them so they can uh, live a nice, long, happy life, hopefully. All right, I'll go right over here. Right where we found them. And there he goes. Hot enough. Woo! Ciao! Ciao! Alright, man. Good stuff. Right now. He screams just like you, Amy. I'm like... <laughs> what the hell? These guys never just sit here for us. Yeah, that's a furry falcon. Oh, yeah. See, that's an adult with no. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Things are beef. <laughs> the one who doesn't do it. Yeah. And I almost jumped in the dam. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Whoa. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah. Are you I'm recording you. Yeah. That's an awesome brand new baby. That is a Ashley. Look oh, at that. Yeah. Good spot. Oh, awesome. That is so cool. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna have to let this guy go. Not even a little bit. All right, you, you can don't stage anything, but that uh, was not staged. Look at that. <laughs> that is a brand new baby hognose snake to the world. Oh, this guy does not want to leave my sight too. Hold on, can I have real quick? Oh, there oh, Hey, that is awesome! <laughs> that was amazing. That is absolute craziness. <laughs> Look at that little thing. Hey, you uh, want to hold it? You're the one who found it. Oh, that is so cool. You are so cool. Code name Bogus. Wow, what an eye. That is my nickname. <laughs> oh. uh, can you tell us a little bit about the snake? Well, this is a very new <laughs> western hog nose. He v did not react. He was very calm to our capture, probably because he hasn't been in the world that long. Doesn't really know how to react to danger. Oh, just That's a awesome. Tiny baby. So this is a miniature version of the of the one we found recently. Is that little snout? That is amazing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you have a guy caught on video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, those are the moments that like are the best. Seriously. And also, you know, like the a great great part about coming out here and doing this is uh, you know, moments like like these when you know you, you, these crazy moments happen out of nowhere and then you know you're with a bunch of really cool people and everyone gets really excited and stoked at the same time. It's like a big part of what it's all about too. Check this little cutie out. We just found this tiny baby. Haley spotted it. As we were looking at something else, she says, snake! <laughs> and this is a brand new Hongno snake to the world. Dude, that's huge for Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God. Hold on, dude. <laughs> All right, here we go. What do we got here, Bryce? All right, we got a prayer rattlesnake here. It's very venomous, so I gotta be very careful. As you can see, I don't have proper footwear today. Or you have the proper footwear. <laughs> got my sandals, but um, this is the prayer rattlesnake. Really, really common rattlesnake out here in Colorado. All the way down to Arizona, all the way up to Canada. This is really, a super green one. Yeah, wow, it is. Very widespread rattlesnake. As you can see, it's got kind of like a green coloration. This is how they warn, uh, warn predators, so they won't get eaten. It's also how they warn um, bigger mammals, so they won't step on them. And look, he's, he's getting super defensive right now. And this is classic rattlesnake defensive posture. S up, he's ready to strike, rattling his tail, staying back off. And um, you know, a lot of people think that these snakes come after you, and they're they're gonna try to bite you. You know, um, just go out of the way to do that, which is totally not true. You can see I'm pretty close to him. He's not advancing towards me. He's just telling me to back off. 
and uh, that's always what a snake's gonna do. And then as soon as you um, stand up or walk away, he's gonna take off the other way too. Let's go over here. Yeah, I think the flowers would be really nice. Yeah. Well, we just caught this guy off the off the middle of the road, and uh, we don't want him to get hit by a car, so we just moved him off here with the snake cook, and uh, we're just gonna release him into this big sunflower field, and hopefully he'll just continue in that direction and not get hit by a vehicle. Or get picked up by a hawk. Right, or get picked by a hawk. <laughs> These guys play a really important part in the ecosystem. They're really important for uh, controlling rodents, and that helps control diseases, things that we can get from them. Awesome. So beautiful, gorgeous animal, and uh, we'll release him and uh, hopefully he can go find himself a nice big juicy rat today. All right. All right. Here you go, All buddy. Right, buddy. Have a good one. Happy travel. <laughs> Colorado was a successful mission, and if you enjoyed finding animals with us, then make sure to stay tuned for next week's episode as we take an inflatable kayak and paddle through a swamp in the jungle at night in the country of Trinidad and try to catch some pretty cool snakes that live in the trees along the river. Subscribe so you can stay tuned for more Take to the Wild adventures.